What's up, everybody? This is Zach. Coming to you straight from you know where, My Freedom Smokes, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, you know, when you hear my name, you hear my voice, you see that backdrop behind me, you're on our YouTube channel or on our website. Um, and we just appreciate you guys checking us out, checking out our reviews. Just wanted to give a little thank you out there. Uh, before I go on to explain the Wismec Theorem Atomizer, uh, it's the Wismec Theorem Atomizer is a bit confusing um, if you've never used anything like this. Luckily, I have, so it was easy for me to um, work around it, figure it out. Uh, it's another thing brought to you by Jbo, designed by Jbo and inspired by Suck My Mod. Um, and this is a drip tank hybrid, uh, is what they're calling it. Um, first off, it is 46 by 25 millimeters in height, and it is 22 millimeters in diameter. So it's nice, fits good on my Rolo, looks good on the Rolo. Uh, Wismex first drip tank hybrid featuring the new and exciting stainless steel notch coil. Um, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit first. If you guys haven't seen or heard about the notch coil, um, I am unfortunately not using one in this. I've had this thing for a little bit. I had it over the weekend. Um, just to try to you know, figure it out so I can bring you guys a pretty good review. Um, so I built my own coil for it. Uh, the notch coil is a pretty cool coil and it is very new. Um, and for those of you that have used one, it is pretty exciting. But I don't really necessarily like the notch coil. Um, I use it for a little bit, but the way the notch coil works is it is a, uh, it's a cylinder coil. It has notches in it, that's why it's called a notch coil. But the lead, it has no lead. The leads are soldered into the coil itself. Um, so with, I think that they use, it almost seemed like they were using like a 26 gauge wire, um, which is very thin. Uh, and so if you even mess that, that, that lead up just a little bit, you could have a, a short and the coil could short out. You know, like I was vaping it for, I'd say a good 30 minutes, took off the theorem, threw on my mouse tank, uh, was done vaping that and then threw back on the theorem and the second I hit it, it was just nothing but burnt cotton and pain and the only thing that was heating up was uh, my top lead that screws into the top of this deck. <coughs> Sorry. The only thing that was heating up was my top lead that uh, screws into the top of this deck and it just was, like, it was a lot of pain because, um, you know, for those of you that have never got a short in a coil, that means that only a certain part of that coil is heating up. And even if you have that thing at 15 watts, if there's a short in it, it's gonna be heating up real quick, gets real hot. Um, so I did have luck with the notch coil. I did enjoy it, but for me, I just recommend building your own if you um, can't figure out that notch coil. Uh, this does come with two notch coils, and I did run through both of them, unfortunately, because I got a short in both of them. I don't know if it was a mess up on my part. I felt like it wasn't because I was doing everything pretty uh, perfect, I guess you could say because it was working fine for a little bit there. But yeah, um, just wanted to get that notch coil out of the way. If you buy one of these, try it out, use it, because you know they are pretty cool. Um, if you don't like it, I recommend just rebuilding your own coil. Right now I got a Clapton in here, and this thing is working fine, and it's delicious. Um, this atomizer is the first to utilize an open wicking system, a combined top airflow juice plug, and a solid leak-proof sleeve design. Um, so yeah, as you can see up here, the airflow ring is actually right up here at the top. It is top airflow. And all you gotta do is unscrew the top just a little bit, um, the top cap, I guess you could say, just a little bit. And then this middle ring right here is the airflow ring. You just move that where you like it and then tighten the top cap back down. Um, and removing the glass, uh, which is what you're gonna wanna do if you're building on this thing, um, exposes the build area, making it completely accessible and easy to install both cotton and coils. Removing the top airflow cap simultaneously exposes the fill part, allowing the user to easily refill the atomizer without altering the airflow settings, which is also pretty nice. And what I'll show you guys, that. This right here is the juice plug. It screws into the top cap um, and Right here on this side where there is no coil, there's a little hole, and that's where you would want to fill up the bottom. And the way that this works is on this side, I have my coil built, and I have my cotton 
wick it down into the juice well. And what you want to do is you want to wick it down into the juice well. Uh, obviously, if the sleeve's off in your building, you can go ahead and just tuck the cotton into the sides. Uh, you'll be able to see a little indention. Um, I didn't mean to say indention. And once you have your cotton installed where it needs to be, you just put the sleeve back on and then fill your juice up over here. And then put the top cap back on with the juice plug to make sure that you're not going to have any leaking issues whatsoever. I haven't had any leaking issues. And the way that this works is that you're going to want to tilt the tank towards you um, or towards where your cotton is going to be. I like the way that they designed it. I put this on a couple other devices and it always seems like the way that it threads in. The cotton is facing me, so whenever I want to vape, I don't have to worry about any dry hits ever because when you tilt it, the cotton soaks up the juice and the cotton is always going to stay wicked. I'll go to the side. Uh, the convenient airflow control by rotating the airflow control ring, like I said, clockwise or counterclockwise, you can adjust the airflow and enjoy your preferred airflow tightness or looseness. Um, it has good airflow if it's all the way open. Uh, I cut mine about halfway off just because this thing is made for flavor. It is not made for chucking clouds, it's not made for anything like that. It's made for just flavor. And it's also just made for convenience, and that's why I like it so much. Um, uh, the contents of the package are a theorem atomizer, two airflow control rings, so if you don't like the single coil or you don't like the... Um, you can build dual coil, it is going to be a little difficult, um, but and I'd also be careful because the second coil is going to be right over where you uh, fill up the juice. Um, but it does have a single and dual airflow ring. One stainless lined glass sleeve, which is this right here. If you're worried about dropping it or you just don't like the look of uh, just the glass sleeve, it does have this sleeve right here, which is nice. And it also has, you know, a little opening so you can see where your juice is at. And that lines up perfectly with where um, the juice well is. If you want to, you know, if you don't think your coil looks nice or your wicking job, you want to block that out from sight. Um, another glass sleeve, two notch coils with cotton, three silicone O-rings, four screws, one hex key, which is 1.25 millimeters. Um, and then a user manual if you're still a little confused on how this thing works or if you're still confused on just really anything about it. The user manual uh, goes into pretty good depth of it. Um, I would recommend this really only for experienced vapors because it is a bit confusing. Um, but it is a lot of fun to work with, it's a lot of fun to build on, and it's great to use. So yeah, that's about it for the theorem. Um, once again, I'm Zach, coming to you from My Freedom Smokes. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for supporting us here at MFS. And I hope all you beautiful people have a great day.